So there's a couple of things that I want to say this evening. And one of them's a response to something that someone else said the other day. It was uh, Sir Longhair of Gesticulation, Figure Death, who said that I do lots of my videos really close up because I do it on a webcam. I don't do it on a webcam. I just like being up close. I think it makes things intimate between me and the people that are watching. I want to be intimate with you. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to point out that I'm wearing Transformer pyjama bottoms. Lastly, I'd like to point out that Ray I Love Mess is back. Oh, 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 it's like reviews came to life again. Oh, I haven't been so glad about watching reviews since the horse left. Oh, oh I miss him so. But Ray's here now. Um, I, I'd like to point out that... Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and I'd also like to point out that... First point of discussion. I'm, I'm going to do it this way. Because I've not done one this way before. I'm going to do it this way. The lighting's a bit crap. It's using a figure that I'm not quite sure about. And I don't want anyone to just turn my channel off. But I'm going to do it anyway because other people have done it. And I figure if they haven't turned them off, they're not going to turn me off. Maybe 60 people will watch it. If I'm lucky. It's all about having fun. Um, mech tech. Mech tech. Mech tech. It's, it's, oh, it's nice. Look. Look. It's got sort of brassy bits in here. I'm doing everything backwards because I'm showing you and not me and it's just a bit weird. Um, it's got brassy bits, which is very nice. The detailing is very good. It's got a lovely spinny gun. And unlike a lot of the other stuff, when you do that, it really stays spinning quite well. But if you, if you spin it and then you've got a twist on it somehow and you can get it to um, it spins I think there's a way of clipping it in I haven't found out what it is it's a gun um, Ironhide I can't say Ironhide without making it sound like G1 Ironhide I have to say it like that. So I'm going to say it like that all the way through the review. I'm going to call him Ironhide. Um, it's lovely. It's a bit smaller than the original one. It's just a teensy bit smaller scale-wise. Revenge, uh, Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon's going small. And it's simplifying. And I think it will sell better to children. But not me. The arc looks brilliant. I'm digressing. Um... What should we do? Should we should we transform it? Uh, take these bits, take your cab. Oh, well, let's look at that. That's the back. Okay, there's a hole through here. Uh, that's the base. That looks kind of scruffy. It looks like there should be a plate that sits on top there just to make it all look slightly better. He could do with some of Megatron's tarpaulin over the back, couldn't he, really? But uh, uh, it's good. It's good. I mean, at the front, you know what it looks like because it, on the outside it looks just like... All the other ones, really. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like underneath. That's what it looks like on the top. You can see fisties and robot bits, but that's fine. It's okay. You're not going to look at the bottom. Um, what I am going to do is uh, take the side bits and just sort of pull them out. So you're going to split this triangle section on the top and just pull all of that out and give us some space to work with. Um, and then we're going to take this top piece here and pull it away which is going to give us just some space and then split the legs okay and then we're going to take the waist here and just uh, pull everything down and just sort of make some space for ourselves and now we're going to have a trussed up robot space chicken um, so then push that up push that back like that and it pops into place then take the chest piece and click it up one is that it? yeah that's as far as it's going um, and then you've got to take or well, move this all out of the way as much as possible and then with the legs you're going to straighten that yeah, turn all that on I'm not doing it to you am I see that? So, uh, how does Ray do this? 
Uh, take that, turn it around that way, and move it down. Take that, turn it around that way, straighten the legs and move it down. And that gives you a rough semblance of what your, your, your crotch and midsection is going to look like. Let's do the legs first, shall we? Um, legs work really well on this. <coughs> Got a bit of a cold coming. So the whiskey's like burning it off with alcohol. Mmm, <sighs> nummy. Um, uh, so we're going to split the back piece here and the side piece here. They don't need to be attached. So we're going to take that apart, raise the tailgate, okay? We're going to twist the foot out and down. Uh, fucking stupid camera angle. Out, down. Flip that back so it becomes a footy. And then we're going to take the whole back section there, turn it up, and then we're going to fold it over like so. And you've just got you've got uh, a peg, and you've got a hole, peg hole, peg hole, and fit it in like that. And then move it around as as you wish. So let's do the same on the other one. So we're going to split. <sighs> Stupid camera angle. Split this. Foot down. Fold that in. Um, that's going to fold up like that. You're going to fold that around underneath. That's going to pop in. And foot-wise, you've got sideways, sideways, forward, backwards. It's loads of articulation. Tons of articulation. It's very sexual. Uh, then with the top piece, you're going to oh, see. This is where this is where it gets good, and I'm not going to be able to show you because it's dark, and hopefully I won't get my channel banned. It's fine. Um, you're going to reach for the fisties, reach for the fisters, and pull these out somehow. Now the front, you can see the front here. They're the forearms, so you've actually got pull that out which kind of gives you lots more arm movement and then if I turn it sideways look you've got a hinge there so hingy hingy so just move everything out of the way these bits are going to twist around and you've got some pegs that are going to peg in somewhere or another so you've got little pegs on there look there's a little peggy there and you've got a little hole in there so you're going to make the peg fit in the hole and that's that let's do that on here and let's sort of just get that out of the way peg in the hole like that okay that needs that which is all good okay then we're going to fold all of this back and just sort of make some space head reveal money shot money shot um, head reveal head's very nice see the head is just black with some blue eyes and some gold bits but it's better than the last one I don't know why, it just sort of is. It needs a bit of paint articulation. It needs someone who's good with a dry brush and just some ink washes to get at this because it's, it's a bit plain. Um, so we're going to move this whole section forward and sort of plug it in like that. And then this bit, if you hold it from the top like that look, and just push, it's on this concertina kind of thing. It's, it's like one of those... Do you remember when you were a child and you used to make those things that go, I think you are a big freak? and it would say inside the colour red and it meant that you were gay. It was like something like that, it just means push like that and it all fits. Now there is a bugger to this, anyone who's seen, seen Pior's video will know that there's a hook, there's a hook there look, there's a hook and you're supposed to hook that on the back of this because there's a hook inside here. Do the two want to go? Do they fuck? will not go for nothing. You can push and finagle and badger it and as much as you want to and it just won't work. It's a right pain in the wretched arse. Uh, on here, can you see you've got hingy joints, you've got elbowish sort of hingy joints but they're for the wheels. So all you do is you turn the wheels around the other way and that tucks the wheel up inside. It gives it a very movie-esque feel to it, I quite like it. So we do that on there, tuck the wheels up and then with this bit we're going to just have a go we're going to have a jolly good go at pushing that 
Oh, there, I'll be there. We did it. I did it. Let, let's see that pushed in, and that gives you the chest piece. Chest piece. Oh. Now all you want to do is take this back section with the lid, okay? And that, that's the chest piece has come out, and it's on a hingey movement there. Just push it all the way to the bottom, which makes lots of lovely space. And then take this again and hook it on again. We're gonna we're gonna do that a couple of times. Um, but there's a lot more space for the head to see on this one now. Look, before it used to be you could, you tunnel vision. He could only see forward because of his own massive, great, big front grill tits. And now he's a bit, he's a bit, he's just a bit more aware of what's going on around him. I quite like that. Uh, uh, articulation for the arms is really strange because you've got this little elbow joint here, and that, that sort of moves up and down, in and out, and it twists like that. And you have to twist it all the way round. And the elbow joint. It's actually a ball joint, but it kind of there's loads of all this gumph sticking out of the back here. What's that about? Um, so I'm going to turn that round like that, and then you've got fisties. So let's let's do that on the other side, and we'll just turn that around and like that. Now you can give him some really big kind of oh, poses, but if you want him to do this, he couldn't do it because his arms have got no. He's stuck like that. He can't do that. So we can't do this. You couldn't take him to a disco. He couldn't do an impression of John Travolta because he can't do this. Mm. Um. <sighs> and this has come out again. Well, let's see if we can make it click. Oh, there we go. I love that sound. Should we do it again? Oh. Um. There's something about plastic on plastic clicking when you're a Transformers fan. If you like that sound, put a note in the bar below, because I was thinking about it the other day. I was going to do a whole video on it, but I think I'm just going to ask you now. Am I mental for that beautiful little clickety-clickety kind of ratchety sound going on when people do their videos? I love it. It's just something very collectory about it. And that we're pretty much there. We're pretty much there. The back's flap down. You've got a mech tech port there, which is cool. Uh, mech tech ports wise, you've not got an awful lot to be fair. You've got pegs there, but not ports. Um, he's not got a massive amount of, of um, mech tech ports, but his gun does. Well, it does have on the other side a mech tech port there. It does have a peg there as well, so you can sort of multitask with these things. But his wing bits at the back. Uh, these pop off quite a lot, it's fine, they go back on okay, but they do, they are going to pop off, okay. What you do is you just take that back section there, and you're going to fold that around like that, and you're going to do the same there, because it was, let's show that slightly better, it was like that, and we're going to turn it like that, okay. And then all you do is take this, fold it around the back, and then these are on hingy joints. This is a much better shoulder mechanism. The whole back of him is just lots better. And the last mould was outdated anyway. They should have changed it. They should have changed it for Revenge of the Fallen. They should have done that. It's not, not fair. It's not right. It's not just or true. Um, oh, now he won't click. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Oh. But as soon as you do the door pieces, look, he suddenly becomes a bit more, he can't see anymore because he's like a bit more clouded by his own breasticles. And I, I, I do kind of like putting them flat and putting them flat like that. And then you get this nice wing effect, which isn't iron hide at all. But just from an aesthetic point of view, it looks quite nice. It's very G1. Look, he's got door wings. On a transformer, can you get any more sort of feeling like home than having door wings? It's a bit sideswipe, isn't it? <sighs> anyway, there you go. Uh, that's that's Transformers, um, Dark of the Moon, Ironhide. Uh, I like him. I like him an awful lot. Uh, he's got a ball joint head. He's got ball joints on the elbows. But as soon as you move them, the chest moves. And it does this, which is very disappointing. So, and now I can't make it click. The closer you get into transformation, ah, there we go. 
the less he's going to click in place. How? Oh, it's come out again. There's got to be a web. There's got to be a better way. There has to be. But <sighs> fuck it. Um, that looks quite good. I, th I like it. It's good. It's fine. The legs are brilliant. Uh, ratchety ratchet forwards and backwards. Knees are on hinges. It's a double joint on the knee, so he's got good articulation. Ankles swing both ways and forwards and backwards. The wheel does get in the way a bit, but you can also push the wheel out of the way, or because it's this is on a hinge itself because of the transformation, which is quite good. Um, that's about it. The shoulders on this are a bit. The shoulders up inside there look are a little bit strange because when you when you turn all of this junk it just sort of alters the angle and it doesn't actually turn anything so everything relies on this bottom joint I'm not sure about it it's fine and that's stuck now this uh, attaches Mectech Beckham you can either if you don't want him posed with his gun stick his Mectech weapon on his back like that lift that all the way back and and surprise, surprise, the chest has just come out. He's spying a theme. The theme. Um, so he can go like that, and you can just store it on his back. But then when you look at him from the front, he got a wee wee. He got a big wee wee that goes like this. He goes, oh, wee wee. We don't want that. So we're going to take that off, and we're going to uh, take that post, take that peg, and just peg that on underneath. And he's going to. Oh, oh, oh. Wield his might. Deliberate mistake. What a doof. Oh, it's going wrong. There we go. Now, as you can see, as you can see, as I do that, as I do that right in front of you, I can't have that peg all the way in that hole because it hits at the back. And now we're starting to find the, the flaws in the Mectech system because it just doesn't fit very well. I suppose I could turn it round and put that in up there. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. There we go, because it kind of fits with the angle of the fisty as well, slightly better. And you can still do all of this sort of jazz. Um, the chest has come out again. Should we, should we see if we can make it click? Oh, there we go. And then again, we're going to pull that back down while holding the chest in place and move the wings out. So now we've got a winged iron hide. I don't hate it, it's very good. But I'm, I'm going to. Um, I love this. This is... It's, it's 8 out of 10. I do love it. There's going to be better. I'm going to have to get Butterfly Prime. I don't want to. I want to hate it. Every ounce of me wants to hate it. Because it should be rubbish. But it's not going to be. It's going to be glorious. Dark of the Moon Ironhide and done like this in celebration of the fact that Ray's back. Peace. That's rubbish. That's a rubbish sign-off. This has been SMS number one saying, I've got a toy that you don't. Ah!